And am I recording? Yes, I'm recording now. Okay, let's see. That would be the electric acoustic fender. Active electronics. And a little bit of a paint in the rear. Battery holder here. Controls for uh, tone, volume, and uh, high, medium, and low um, tones. And hiding in here is my 60 set, or excuse me, 61 Gibson, and it's. Uh, some lemon oil or something on it. Anyway, I'm not going to be playing anything. I'm coming over here and uh, let's see, do we focus? Can it focus? I've got uh, a comment that I made to, to Max Egan about uh, just similarities and just basic talk. Let's see, I don't know if I'm in there or not. Anyway, my eyeballs are going to look over at this and try to read it. Uh, I see. I mean, I see. I really see. Uh, what the human animal has become is a robot that society's created. We're not men anymore. We're castrated at birth by the systematic cutting of our mental genitalia. We can't use our minds anymore because we're being controlled. Uh, we're programmed to be good consumers and cookie cutter shaped uh, to fulfill the whims of the owners of the gold since those who uh, have the gold make the rules. I write between 35 to 50,000 words daily or nightly as the case may be. Uh, depending on the time I wake up. Uh, sometimes I wake, I'm awake for two days and I fast for one day, go without eating, and then I sleep when I'm tired enough. Um, I've been deprogramming myself now for about 40 years. Uh, like, like Max, I'm an artist, a musician, a speaker, a writer, and many other people wrapped up in one shell. Uh, the power that's within is is most amazing amazing being. We so often forget our power. The powers that be have such a hold on on the masses. It's disheartening. However, the awakening of the of the planet, in part uh, by the ascension of consciousness, and I need to need to <laughs> follow my own notes. Uh, it's also disheartening. Um, well, excuse me, I'll, I'll back up. However, the awakening of the planet, in part by the ascension of consciousness, also in part by the opening of the age of Aquarius, the galactic alignment, we the enlightened, enlightened, or those becoming aware, are seeing the possibility of change in the world by changing ourselves and becoming ourselves. And it's just wondrous, absolutely wondrous. Um, I've listened to Max now for uh, about three months, well, s several months, I, I'm not sure exactly. Um, and I, I'm, I'm in agreement with practically all that he says, because truth is truth, and it won't, and it won't lie. Uh, loving one another as gods and goddesses is simply the easiest way for us to change the world. I've talked to complete strangers who near instantaneously change just speaking some loving words to them. People, people aren't used to it. People are used to just grumbling and going about their business or laughing and joking instead of getting serious. Um, uh, the, the power of love is so completely awesome. Hearts and minds can change just like that. But sometimes it's necessary to reinforce words with action to show or to manifest the goodness that love brings. Two separate yet entirely combined plans of changing the world have entered my existence, and now seems the time to unleash the power. It's just love. Just love. Just. It's just. It's right. It's correct. It's, it's not religious. It's not... Um, 
it, it, it's nothing but the power that's in your very heart and in your mind just doing the right thing all the time it it's a lot harder to do than to say uh, it's real easy to understand though uh, when you do the right thing right things start happening and you go wow you know, there's something to this and of course there is because we have the power to change and make anything in the world any way we want I'm going off off track here uh, <laughs> it's easy to do hearts and minds can change in an instant but it's necessary uh, to have words with action to manifest goodness love brings um, I'm getting ahead of there I go uh, taking the spelling of words to the root has given me so much insight we often look at words and we don't pay any attention to what they really mean we just this word is spelled that way why well when you start looking into things you'll find that there's a lot to it and the true meaning of words are not what society says they are for the most part okay be my own page turner here okay where was I uh, I need to make a note to myself to uh, to send a letter to a friend that's the name of, of the writing in an attempt to open up the possibilities of waking up the masses change is imminent uh, it's the only thing in life that's absolute. Uh, I love you, Max. You're, you're just the kind of person like everyone else. However, being awake and being able to spread and share the truth about the way things are and the simple solutions for people to take their power back since the, the government is no longer servants of the people, they're controllers. They're, they're dictators, all of them. And uh, like Max says, uh, almost all systems are just rotten to the core because of greed and because they're bought off. They'll do whatever they're told. Uh, I'm just doing my job. Presidential orders and foolish things like that and the military industrial complex selling weapons to anybody that uh, they can be financed for so they make the money from the arm sales but it's lost to the the public who pays the bills and who pays for all of the funerals and on and on it's insanity um, anyway uh, change is imminent and uh, trust that the summer uh, I trust that the summer down under is treating Max well I'm in northern Oregon in the USA, the late great country of controlled robots. Some of us are very awake. I correspond to several countries and do much as Max does without radio broadcasting because I just have a, a $70 camera and a 12 year old hand me down computer. But I'm getting there. Anyway, I do it without radio broadcasting. I usually wear a hat, so I'll pretend like I'm pulling my hat off. Peace to everybody. I'll put the hat over my heart. Anyway, I love everybody and want everybody to evolve. It's, it's simple enough to just take power of yourself, like Max says, and uh, your consciousness will climb so quick as soon as you just realize that you don't have to play the game. You're not a part of the game other than a number. But you're not a number. You're a human. And you're a spirit, a heart and a mind. When you get your heart and your mind together, absolutely fabulous things happen. That's about all I have to say before I run out of time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.